Today I'm looking at the Shift Cam Lens Ultra lineup and their Pro Grip. And that is what I was demoing in the intro of this video. And I'll talk more about that in just a minute. But the main thing I'm interested in is do they work with the latest generation larger sensor phones? And the one I'm using is the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And so the way to figure that out is to go out and shoot. So that's what I did. First up, the 1.55 times anamorphic. The 1.55 anamorphic looks pretty good. Now, if you look closely, you'll see that there are some soft edges, just a little bit. Now, it being such a wide angle lens, I don't think it's a huge deal. And I did shoot a chart to actually show that. And the middle is nice and sharp. The edges fall off just slightly. And so again, on wider shots, you probably would see it more than you would on tighter shot because you're losing detail. But I don't think you really would notice it unless you're pixel peeping. So overall, I think the 1.55 does look okay. Next up, let's take a look at the 60 millimeter telephoto. Same story with the telephoto. It looks really good overall. I like that footage I shot quite a bit. However, the edges, just the very edges in the corners mainly are kind of soft. And if you look closely, pixel peeping, you notice it. If you don't, if you're just looking at the footage, you don't really see it. Again, I shot a chart. The middle is nice and sharp. The edges do fall off a little bit. So just something to be aware of. But overall, I think it does work. Oh, and if you're wondering, does the 60 millimeter Tele work on the five times Tele on the 15 Pro Max? No, it does not. Next up, we'll take a look at the 1.33 times anamorphic. The 1.33 anamorphic might be their best performing lens. I really like it. It's sharp edge to edge, and I love that organic looking flare. Really great lens, and I really like the way it all looked. All right, the last one we'll look at, 16 millimeter wide angle.
the wide angle, just like the anamorphic before it, looks great. Sharp edge to edge, and I see nothing wrong with it at all. I really like it, and it's probably maybe my favorite along with the 1.33 anamorphic. So going back to my original question, do the Lens Ultra work with the latest iPhone? Yeah, they do, and overall they look really good. In particular, the anamorphic, the 1.33, and the 16 millimeter wide. The telephoto and the other anamorphic look fine, and unless you're pixel peeping, you wouldn't notice it, but they do sometimes have some subtle soft edges, though definitely not noticeable in every shot. ShiftCam has done a really good job making lenses that work with the newer sensors, but also that aren't overly big. These are rather small and lightweight, especially compared to other brands and their larger lenses. If you get the full kit, it comes with a nice carrying case that I showed at the beginning of the video, but you can also get a zippered pouch for each lens, which I really like. And the name of each lens is actually on the carabiner that's connected to the pouch, and so it makes it really easy to grab the correct one. And I showed the Pro Grip earlier, and it too works with the 15 Pro Max and really any phone because it is adjustable. With it, you can shoot landscape or portrait. And it has a built-in battery so you can charge your phone while you're on the go, wirelessly or via cable. You can also use it to mount your phone to a tripod or connect a cold shoe to attach accessories like a microphone or whatever. Or you can just use it to shoot handheld, and that's what I did. The grip itself is really comfortable. And you can even use the Pro Grip as a stand on your desk to make phone calls or whatever. And it also has a Bluetooth shutter for photography. To me, the Pro Grip is an everyday carry type of item for shooting social media or YouTube video, that kind of thing. And it worked well. If you want more details about the individual lenses, I did a previous video about that, and I'll put a link to it in the description. But the main takeaway is that the lenses do work well with the latest generation iPhone. So if you're interested, I've put links for everything I've talked about in this video in the description. Thanks for watching. This is Blake Calhoun. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.